unity and understanding. Earlier this month, a confident and united Sinn Féin leadership decided that Republican representatives, including myself, should participate fully in the Irish President's state visit to Britain. Our party leadership took this decision in the context of our Republican objectives and as an initiative to further strengthen the process of change and national reconciliation. However, the real potential of the important and symbolic gestures of the President Higgins visit will only be fully realised if the opportunity is taken up by both the Irish and the British governments. That means implementing all outstanding elements of the Good Friday and other agreements and consolidating the power sharing and all Ireland political institutions. So we have shown in words and deeds that we are absolutely committed to the process of national reconciliation. But unionists must also participate in this process. They need to reach out to Republicans. And I say that knowing that the conflict was long and it was bitter and many people were hurt on all sides and no one has a monopoly on suffering. So it is time to begin discussing how shared hurts can be acknowledged, lessened and if possible healed. Part of that will mean attempting to better understand each other and trying to imagine what it might be like to walk in each other's shoes, to identify with and make sense of our different experiences. Republicans fully acknowledge the hurt that we inflicted in the course of the conflict. Unionists also need to recognise the hurt that they have created. They need to turn their back on the inequality and repression that marked 50 years of one-party rule in the North. And they also need to challenge rejectionist unionists. And they need to show positive leadership rather than pandering to the extremes of Orangeism. As many of you know, there is currently an effort on the part of political unionism to roll back on the progress that has been made since a Good Friday Agreement was achieved 16 years ago. This cannot be allowed to happen. None of the difficulties that the political process faces is, in my opinion, insurmountable. With political will, it is possible to resolve all of the outstanding and toxic issues. And this will only happen when both the Irish and the British government take a leadership role in ensuring such an outcome. It's over three months now since Dr Richard Haas and Professor Megan O'Sullivan presented compromise proposals to deal with the outstanding issues of flags, parades and the past. Proposals 